Handling Money Stress. The American Psychological Association 2020 survey said that 64% of Americans are reporting feeling stressed out about money. Now, virus-induced unemployment or underemployment may have contributed to this percentage, but that's pretty high. So what can we do to reduce money stress? Well, the first tip is to space out your financial decisions by making them one at a time. Don't try to make all of them in one sitting or in one day. Secondly, you can track your spending so you know where to start when you have to make change. Thirdly, write down the ways that you can reduce expenses and eliminate expenses. And fourthly, recognize how you are currently dealing with financial stress. Here are some of the issues I discovered. Smoking, either starting or increased. Drinking, more than usual. Eating, I think we all are experiencing eating too much because we're stuck at home. Gambling, now just because I live in Las Vegas doesn't mean people can't gamble online and as a way of uh, getting some sort of entertainment but at a serious cost. Arguing, that is one way we can deal with it that's not <laughs> very effective but it is happening. And lastly, one of my friends reminded me, it's obsessing about it, thinking about it all the time. So how can we cope? Well, we can avoid temptations. We can be honest with our family and friends about our situation. We can start to make gifts rather than buying them if we feel some stress about not having enough money we can stay out of stores. That's another way to not overspend. And lastly, we can cut up credit cards if that's what it takes to stop impulse spending. And don't forget, you can seek help from family members in many cases. You can share your frustrations with your friends. There's probably a friend or two that will be very sympathetic and helpful and understanding of your situation. Don't forget there are local support groups. Google is a good way to start your search to find them. And lastly, mental health professionals. Ask your doctor for a referral. And if you don't have a doctor, you might ask your urgent care doctor for a referral. Thank you for listening to today's money tip and I hope you enjoyed the visuals using my drone.